What's up, what's y'all doing over here? Throwbacks, and I'm back with another Evitz Feel Flannels unboxing. This is actually an unboxing for my brother. He just ordered two hats um, on his birthday. He got a $100 gift card from one of his homies and a $100 Evitz gift card. So he's a big, he likes his hats, so he got some hats. So, but he let me, he's kind enough to let me open it before he uh, throws it on. So we're gonna open these up. So he got two hats and one of them uh no back king if you watch this be a special one for you <laughs> uh, uh, like always package nicely uh. all right so on the top we got a seattle rainier's uh, cotton frill ball cap so that's what we got right there. He likes his uh, adjustable. I like my fitting. It's all good. And the second one is a throwback king. Got that 1954 uh, Michigan State hat right there. Also adjustable. That's what we got going right there. So I'm gonna uh, do some close-ups on my hats. Kind of, you know, quick rundown of what we got. And then, uh, yeah, it's pretty much leave it at that. So uh, let's turn this camera on. So this is the Michigan State 1954 hat. You got the genuine green wool broad cloth. Broad cloth. You got the white embroidered S on there. You got the standard visor, not the soft one. So they do have soft visors. Um, this is the standard visor with the satin green um, under visor, which is pretty cool because since it's already a green hat, it kind of matches, it kind of goes. Um, you got the Buck Ram Crown, the vintage hair cloth, uh, backed Buck Ram, Buck Ram Crown. You got satin taping with the cotton sweatband. So you got the inside right there. Everest Flannels Collegiate. And of course, they got it with the nice inside right there, keeping it in place. This is the adjustable one, so it comes with the leather strap and the brass closure. So this is it. Simple but nice, very nice hat. And uh, one more fact: this is uh, supposed to be a 1954 Michigan State hat, which is also, which is uh, supposed to be, or not supposed to be, it is um, the year that the Michigan State Spartans baseball team won their first Big Ten championship. This is the only uh, college. World Series that they appeared in, 1954. So this hat is, uh, you know, the hat that they wore on the field at that time. So big year for them. And yeah, so I'm gonna move on now to the Seattle Rainiers hat. So now here we have the Cotton Twill uh, Seattle Rainiers ball cap. Seattle Rainiers were a Pacific Coast League team. And uh, yeah, so we got the genuine red Cotton Twill. You got a felt. This is the from the uh, 1961 World's Fair pa uh, World's Fair. This is the patch from that, the 1961 World's Fair patch, which is in there. Super dope patch. Very interesting. You got the usual stand. This is the standard visor again with the green, uh, their famous green cotton. Oh, this is a green cotton under visor, actually. This isn't the satin. So, still stick with the green, though. You got the metal. Eyelets on top in that navy blue unstructured crown. This one has the adjustable leather cap. Then you got the satin taping with cotton sweatband on the inside. Made in USA. Uh, the 1961 Rainiers were actually dominating the Pacific Coast League until um, a lot of their players got called up to the Red Sox. So if I'm not mistaken, they were an affiliate for the Red Sox. Um, I'm assuming since they all got called up to there. So a lot, and they moved down to third, third place um, that year. But uh, their manager was Johnny Pesky, who was a Red Sox, a big name for the Red Sox before that. Um, and down the line, he would call this team uh, the greatest pop ball club he had ever been a part of at any level. So some nice history behind this hat. So that's a Seattle Rainiers cotton twill ball cap. 
adjustable. So those are my two hats for today, or my brother's two hats for today. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So like the video if you liked it. Drop a uh, thumbs down if you don't. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you are, thanks for being here. Have a good day, everyone.